as we'll bring you live game one of the second set of matches here today versus TKO and United. Obviously, you see here United playing two members down as they have opted to take a penalty and play with just three out of their five members. I will put that there on the lower side as we will begin TKO versus United. United starting on the Chaos side. Lebmont, Helm Slagfist, and Molten Lord versus Akartu, Leb, Molten Lord, Jumbra, and Horse. As we'll get right into the action. We'll see what's what. I'm not going to call the game here. I won't say that United is down and out. They do have two good champions for Wave Clear, but nonetheless, TKO have those exact same champions. As you say. It will be Lebmont versus Molten Lord here in the mid lane. Molten Lord will begin to trade shots here. Horse in the jungle, Jambra in the top lane. As you say. Right on. We'll see Molten Lord here. Equivs able to do a little bit of damage here to Lebmont early on. But he's obviously got to be careful. Helm Slagfist staying closely to his tower. Obviously a very interesting test for both teams. United pretty strong in some of the past matches that I have seen. We'll take a look at Slagfist who is there. Molten Lord looking like he's going to get caught out of position. Will he be able to live? Got to be careful. He's very, very close to giving up first blood there to... United teleport will come in another TP looks like it was canceled as Levmont is now getting free farm in the top lane uh, excuse me in the mid lane a car to level three in the jungle You know, it's. I know I'm saying this is a penalty, but. United have played very strong in the past. So, it's nothing to their discredit. You gotta believe a team is gonna wanna perform under all kinds of pressure as Helm Slackfist getting chipped down quite a bit there. 10% health left, and it's gonna be enough to send him back to base. As now the bot lane will be surrendered. Take a look at Reaper. Almost gets killed there, having to move back out of harm's way. Equivs. 
Managing now to shove in his lane. He's level 5. We'll see what's going on here. Reaper is stuck. Not moving. Akartu still farming. Do we have a potential DC here? And all of a sudden, it could be a 4v5. Reaper is offline, I think. And all of a sudden, this could be anybody's game early on. I hate when I hit the menu button. Reaper has come back, it would seem. He will make it back to base, but that is costly as Equivs will be the first to level 6 in first blood. Unfortunately, I did not catch it. GG indeed, as Lebmont was caught out in the jungle. Akartu and Jombra able to secure the first blood on a wandering Lebmont. Reaper still kind of stuck at base. I don't know if they're opting to do the 4v5. Look at the ultimate going off. Jody Blanco. Helm is now there with the red buff. Molten Lord does go back to base. Level 5 is Jody Blanco. Is Reaper back? Level 4. Got to be careful. Uh, I mean, I'm seeing that they might be wanting to scale the levels. They probably want to uh, give the levels more priority to the main hitters. Teleport coming in. A cartoon needs to get away fast. Teleport coming in. Levmont there to assist with the counter gank. A cartoon now alone needs to continue running. TP coming in. United will opt to back away from this fight. And I'm not sure what's going on with Reaper. He's kind of just chilling back. Guess we'll see what what's what's his deal here. He is still level 4 kind of moving back and forth. Car 2 level 6, Molten Lord just getting ready to hit level 6 shortly. Helm Slag Fist, still level 5. But with the ultimate comes great power. As we will now open up the whole map. Of course. Helm is now level 7. And will become more of a nuisance as this game goes on. Molten Lord if I didn't say his name correctly. Jombra getting ever so close. Popping the ultimate. Gotta be careful. He's taking a lot of damage there. Will get out relatively unharmed. Molten Lord versus Molten Lord. Equips doing a pretty good job at uh keeping Jody Blanco at half health. Five thousand gold lead. Four TKO United trying to find a way to come out of this and all of a sudden look at the gank incoming Lebmont in a dangerous situation ends up getting wiped out there TKO getting the second kill I will remind everybody that is watching United has opted to take a penalty this round we are playing two members down they did not want to concede the tournament we did have a backup team lined up However, United opting to go one game down 
in the series. John Brassai stepping before the sun hits. The car two in the bushes. Is there gonna be a potential gank? She whiffs on the hook. She gives away her position. She misses the second hook. She can't do anything to help her teammate there. And Molten Lord gets a free pass. Because he gets to stay. Look at that. Misses again. Oh no, a Kartu. A Kartu, please. And it's very tense here as it looks like our first 2v2 team match is going to happen here. As it is nearly an ide uh, identical mirror match here, minus the Jombra and Slagfist. We'll see what's going on. Help Slagfist charges in, throws down the hammer, but Lebot's going to get hit by the stun. Oh, oh. Jombra's not able to secure his teammate there. Now he's stuck by himself. Ultimate is going to go off, but will Jombra go down? I don't think he's going to live. He does pop. His speed buff and the health buff pops through the portal, will head straight south, and it looks like TKO does not win. Does not win that trade there, United coming out on top. They are down 7,000 gold. United obviously having to play with this penalty, even though the gold lead is at 8,000. Um, that 8,000 could easily be two United members, so we gotta, let's take a look at the items here to see who's getting what. Not too far behind is United with their item builds. We'll see here, level 9 is the Molten Lord, 7 is Slagfist, and 7 is Lebmont. Lebmont needs to get off his feet or United if they're gonna have any chance in making some sort of play here. This is game one of the second set of matches here. Slaughters versus Shine were the first uh, teams to play today. Slaughters winning that series 2-1. to one, Have advanced to the final. Shine will play in the third place match of the loser of this tournament. The winner on to face Slaughters tomorrow night for the final series. We'll see here a little overzealous as TKO as they opt to now back away from that turret. They got a little bit of aggro. It's still only 2-0. Very interesting to see who's going to be able to finish that helm first. Jumbra now reaching level 9. And look at that. Equiv showing no fear to Jody Blanco. As Equ uh, Jody Blanco is going to have to go back to base. Reaper up here top. He's got to be careful. He is half health. It is He is one mistake from being chopped the liver. As Guervis is being able to take down this turret, a car two waiting in the bushes. Needs to probably farm a little more before she continues to engage here. Look at this! Reaper going down at the hands of C-Locate. And it's 3-1. to one. Unfortunately, both Lebmonts were taken out in that fight. Very close. We'll see if Jody could finish the job. No, he can't. As you said, my anger smolders. Strike while the iron is hot. As you said, 
fairly quiet game here. 14 minutes in. No mo no teams making that that crit those critical moves. TKO hasn't gone for their objectives yet. Look as the hook will hit. Is it going to be enough? Can Molten Lord get out of there in time? No, he will not as he now goes down. The gank successful this time. Akartu able to land the hook. As United feeling some pressure of this penalty. You got to believe not having their team there. And it looks like TKO will secure the first tower of the game. 15 minutes on the dot. Gold lead a little over 12,000. For those of you tuning in now, I'll say again, United opting to take the penalty rather than concede their place in the tournament. Are playing two men down and somebody got caught out there as a car two gets absolutely destroyed by left mind molten lord and it's four to two now uh, as i was saying united opting to play with a deficit here as molten lord needs to be careful as he's at this tower by himself Levmont and united looking to close in the gap tp coming mid this is going to be a very dangerous situation here as it is a mirror match, another TP comes in and United will scatter. A lot of pressure on TKO to just wrap this game up and get over to the next one. Obviously a 5v5 will be a much more fair match. But the longer this game goes, definitely won't, well, I won't say it won't be in TKO's favor, but the longer that this game goes, we'll give United all the chances that they need. To capitalize on any, if any, mistakes are to be made in this match. We'll see TKO bum rushing there, horse diving right past the turret. A TP will be coming in on Levmont for United and Molten Lord. Trying to get into the action. Akartu has been like one for six with the hooks. And look, Jombra gets caught out of position. Is it going to be enough? Oh man, oh man. Jody Blanco basically getting ping pong there. Seventeen minutes in, and this is what I'm saying: the longer these games go on, United has a track record of making teams pay for any mistakes. Obviously, I understand the ur the urgency that TKO has; it wants to get the kills as fast as humanly possible to get as fed as possible, but it's not going to do you any good if you're gonna basically get caught making silly uh movement positions right there as obviously they were all juggling that aggro from the tower as they won't have to worry about it anymore as the tower will go down tko gonna three man the guardian of the cold we'll see if anybody is wise to what's going on here it doesn't look like united has the manpower to, to get back and contest the guardian as guardian does go down but a cartoon needs to get back to base immediately not sure what she's still doing there she's still walking with the team molten lord comes out blinks over to the other side of his tower for safety the car to finally realizing maybe I'm gonna get popped so let's get out of this battle obviously United gonna have to find a way to come back in game two hopefully they have members on 
And look at this, everybody trying to pile on Jumbra. Shield and TP's come out. Lebmont goes down. Is somebody else going to go down? The tower is doing a ton of damage to somebody. And Helm Slackfist and Molten Lord will go down. And the tower will die as well. Flag gets placed. Unnecessary in my opinion. It's a 3v5. Save your flags for the 5v5. As somebody gets caught sleeping, Jombra gets wrecked. I hope that wasn't him that put the uh, flags down because that's a little embarrassing. 20,000 gold lead. Uh, let's take a look at the items. United in a mad hurry. Uh, Molten Lord does have cloak. Lebmon has bow. Helm opting for a little bit of defense here. As obviously TKO having the better of some of these exchanges are more closer to finishing their item build. Five towers to one. Elm Slagfist getting chased now. Will the stun proc? It looks like a teleport is going to come in. Lebmont will turn on horse. A car two. In full retreat, will land the hook. Does a lot of damage there. Helm Slackfist, unfortunately, will charge into a Kartu, and a Kartu is going to get destroyed. What was she doing? TP's coming out. Look at that. Horse going down as well. Levmont finally going down. Helm Slackfist doing his best to stay alive, but it's not going to be enough as he will go down. But Molten Lord equips will take down Jody Blanco as Molten Lord is in full retreat. He is at level 14, down three kills. And he's going to get away. TKO, I don't think, will catch up in time. Oh boy, he needs to be careful. Is he going to. Oh man, so close, so close. As now United have to ponder what's going on. They are getting kills. It's only a three kill lead. We'll see Reaper finally getting this wave clear. Um, United though will be the first most likely to level 15 as they have been able to solo farm not worrying about having any other assisting teammates Molten Lord is at base Jumbra also respawning horse in the jungle coming bot side it looks like maybe to assist the car to a car to needs to be careful because this is not the team that you want to dive in on as Molten Lord and Helm Slagfist can do a lot of damage in a hurry. Molten. Jody Blanco opting for a little bit of attack speed in his build. Very interesting. Um, I mean, he's, uh, I'm not sure if that was the wisest choice. There are two Helms completed by Jombra and Horse. Lebmont and Slagfist for United will be heading through this top lane to prevent any further damage on the tower. But if you look, the Mad Dash is on. TKO scrambling to get into that tower as fast as humanly possible. But they got to go through a level 15 Molten Lord of their own. We'll see if they're able to stall the match long enough. United ends up going back to base. They will all be confronting TKO here. The tower does go down. TKO able to get in just before United is able to respond. And we'll see here. Jumbra popping the ultimate. A car two popping her hooks. Everybody's going to be going all over the place. A car two popping the ultimate will take down Helm Slagfist. Also, Levmont will be going down. Molten Lord running for his dear life. And it's going to be the game, I think. 50 seconds to the respawn timer in. TKO probably going to be able to put a lot of damage on the inner turret here. United, like I said, opting to play this game with the penalty. They were well aware of the circumstance. We made it clear that if they played this game 
they would be two members down if they didn't want to get disqualified. Game one. Going to TKO, where I'm actually twice as anxious to watch what the second game is going to be for TKO and United. As United was able, I don't know if anybody was watching there, 